We all know that Big Boy last but walks down a whole different type of avenues in life. With that being said, YouTube ain't the only place you can find me. There's Patreon, there's Instagram posting daily, we got Facebook sending me a message, and we got Twitter. But whatever you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and ring the bell to stay notified. This is Big Boy Last Smith, and this is the first ever episode of Reporting from Ringside, which means it's just like World of Toys, except every figure that we review will be specifically from Ringside Collectibles, so you know where you can pick this action figure and many more to come from. And speaking of this action figure, this is Finn Balor from the Top Picks 2018 line, only at Ringside, at least for right now. True effects going on. You got a nice little picture of Finn Balor on the front and on the back. And the back reads up, it says, the WrestleMania 34, the leader of the Balor Club sent out a message loud and clear to the entire world. Balor Club is for everyone. The first ever Universal Champion, NXT Champion from Bray County, Whitlow, Ireland, 217 pounds, 5'11". Finisher, Coupe de Gras, enhanced facial detailing for lifelike authenticity. You got AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Ron Strowman, and Finn Balor all in this series. But right now, I just want you right now. What up, Jazz Carter? We're about to take a look at this Finn Balor figure. Now, for one, I like Finn Balor. Bullet Club, Balor Club, The Club. Whatever variation of the club you like, it's all the same thing at the end of the day. Just like you might be black or white, but at the end of the day, if you mix us together, we're all great. I like this figure, and I like the fact that they're doing interchangeable hands now. That's kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? You got the open hands right there. You got the diamond cut. Mattel, maybe you can give us a more, you know, true effect, you know, updated version of DDP with the open hands. Bang, yo, it's me, it's me, it's DDP. What up, DDP, DDP yoga. There you go. Had a great birthday yesterday, and I bought this for myself for my birthday, along with a couple of other figures, which I'll just span this and make this a series on its own. I'll still do World of Toys, too, but this will be reported from Ringside because every figure will be from Ringside. Now, this figure is cool. I like the fact that they got the whole you know, the, the flag or whatever. I don't know the proper name for it. I think it's GLAAD, the G-L-A-A-D. You know what I'm saying? The community or whatever. And that, I didn't expect them to actually do this figure, you know, but that that's, that's cool that they actually did that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a different day and age these days. And um, it's cool that Mattel, Finn Balor, and WWE actually acknowledge those guys and that fact or whatever. Now, as you see right here, I should have did it before and after, but I didn't. The jacket didn't come with the silver lining here, but you know I built Gundams, which you'll see in Smith Gundam Station later on, you know, next year or whatever, or maybe I can get some up this year. When I build Gundams, I use uh, liquid chrome to bring out the effects of the inner frames and the inner body workings of the Gundam. And I'm like, okay, well, this is a zipper. It doesn't look like a zipper. Let's make it like a zipper. I took the liquid chrome to it, and there you go. You got the True Effects Finn Balor with the great logo, the Glad, you know, Balor Club logo. And then you got more added logo with the liquid chrome. If you have liquid chrome, it don't take but a little bit to make your jacket look more like a jacket. And there you see the logo on the trunks of Balor. I really like Finn Balor, man. Finn Balor is a cool guy. He's a great wrestler, you know what I'm saying? Prince Devitt, if you will, Bullet Club. And now moving on to the True Effects head scan. I think they first started doing the True Effects deal with uh, Elite 54, the Usos and stuff, or at least that's the first one that I remember. And then uh, they kind of mixed it up and I think they tested, or tested the waters a little bit throughout series or whatever, have you, whatnot. But um, any Finn Balor figure to me is a great figure and this, with the true effects just makes it even better. Everything from, you know, the the facial hair to the fade in the back, his haircut. And uh and then we got like the ultimate elites coming out soon. So that that should be pretty cool. But uh let's move on to these hands real quick. Let's switch them out and they pop out like that. Pow! You put in the open hands and um this this is cool. And uh to me, I, I think that Mattel really spots on not saying they do this for stop motion animators but as you saw with the little stop motion at the first part of the video the hands really come in handy when you're animating and you will see finn balor or will you ever see finn up oh, you, oh, you can't see finn balor <laughs> you can't see finn but um you know finn balor right now he's lost the in the hands of the wyatt family with the story and the wild water wrestling so uh you guys gotta tune in to see about that and if you don't then guess what finn balor just has two words for you and he's doing it right now i just want you right now right now i just want you right now the song I keep singing is called right now from jazz cartier go download it itunes spotify whatever you listen to or 
you might feel the bang. But yeah, this is a great figure. Ringside Collectibles right now, I think, is the only place you can find this figure. And um, go to Ringside Collectibles right now and get this figure. Pick up some more figures, and we'll come back next week with more reporting from Ringside. Big boy, and I'm gone.